Austin. Allie. Nathan. Casey. Nate. Lynn. Hi. Have you ever wanted to know about the love of God or even just experience beautiful works that symbolizes Christianity? If so, then let's take a trip through the Salvation Mountain. This educational place is important to me because I grew up loving God and I want others to see the beauty in Him as I do. I have done plenty of research over this place and I'm also a fellow Christian. My purpose today is to inform my audience about the beautiful paintings of the Salvation Mountain. The Salvation Mountain is a wonderful place to visit if you love or are wanting to love the Word of God. We are going to go through three of my favorite places today. The first place we'll be walking through today is the Painted Mountain, as seen in the first picture. The second place we'll be walking through today is Leonardo Mike's truck, as seen in the middle picture. And the last place we'll be walking through today is the forest, seen in the last picture. So let's just jump right into this wonderful place. The first exhibit we'll be walking through today is the Painted Mountains. This mountain is a work of art created by Leonardo Knight in 1931 through 2014 in the California desert. This is an incredible, beautiful place and wonderful if you are wanting to love the Word of God. When you look down from the bright blue skies, you will see a white sculpted cross on the top of the mountain. Underneath the cross, you see the words, God is love, sculpted with red and pink paintings, as seen in the bottom picture. Although looking and taking pictures of this mountain is great, there's a wonderful spot on the side where you can be active and climb the mountain, as seen in the top picture. I have gotten all my information and, picture, and pictures from Passion and a Passport, along with that of Adventure Life. But that is not the end of our tour. We'll be seeing something a little less smaller and more unique to the creator himself. Our next tour of this fascinating place called the Salvation Mountain is the beautiful truck that was one of the biggest key factors to this wonderful and inspirational story. A man, a man named Bob Sims became a part of this story when he started bringing thousands of gallons of paint to the mountain each day for a Leonardo night to use. As you can see his truck in the first picture on the top, before Leonardo died in 2014, he would drive his fun looking car around to advertise for his beautiful masterpiece at scene at Salvation Mountain. Sadly, once he died, this mountain started getting older and more run down. A lot of people started to help maintain the mountain and they placed his car in the same place in rem rememorization for him, as we can see in the bottom left picture. This might be a little bit more unique to the creator himself, but our last but definitely not least exhibit is the most fun for sure. The last exhibit we'll be walking through today is a place Leonardo Knight called the forest, which meant a lot to him and a lot to his collection. This wonderful spot is extremely fascinating. You walk through every nook and cranny, looking through every makeshift window and little holes in the sculpture. This specific exhibit is great for kids. It keeps them active and having fun at all times. There are many other spots along this wonderful, inspirational, and educational place around the Word of God that keeps you active and intrigued throughout your whole entire tour. In the first picture, you can see the entrance to the forest. In the bottom picture, you can see one of the many trees inside that he sculpted, which hints the name the forest. Although there are many more exhibits in this beautiful place, there are just three. These are just three of the most popular ones and truly my favorite. Today, my purpose was to inform you all about the Salvation Mountain and why I think you should visit. So the, the three of my favorite places we walked through today was the Painted Mountain, which is a very colorful statue as seen in the first picture. The second place we walked through today was Leonardo Knight's vehicles, which was a piece of art that was special to him and special to his, to his collection, as seen in the middle picture. And the last place we walked through today was the forest, which was active and fun for kids of all ages, as seen in the bottom picture. I hope you take all of this information into very consideration and visit this beautiful place one day. As said in Psalms 34, 8, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Thank you and God loves you.